today I am going to discuss about the arthropon bone, dis bone disease, Japanese encephalitis. So we are going to discuss about Japanese encephalitis. Japanese encephalitis is a mosquito bone encephalitis caused by the group B flavivirus and transmitted by culicin mosquitoes. It is a zoonotic disease infecting mainly animals and incidentally man. It is caused by the group B arbovirus flavivirus and spread by the culicin mosquitoes. The name is derived from the Latin flavus meaning yellow refers to the yellow fever virus. So the main group of flaviviruses are the yellow fever viruses. The other flaviviruses are Tengu virus, Kyanshul forest disease virus, Japanese encephalitis virus, this virus and West Nile virus. Here you can see the may the envelope of glycoprotein of the Japanese encephalitis virus contains specific as well as cross reactive neutralizing epitopes. The major genotypes of this virus have different geographical distribution but all belong to the same serotype and are similar in terms of their virulence and host preference. Following an infectious mosquito bite, the initial viral replication occurs in the local and regional lymph nodes. Viral invasion of the central nervous system occurs probably via blood. 25 years ago, Japanese encephalitis was known an endemic in East Africa, especially in uh, East Asia, especially in Japan. China and Korea. In recent years it has spread widely in the Southeast Asia and outbreaks of considerable magnitude have occurred in Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, India, Myanmar and Sri Lanka. An estimated 50,000 cases of Japanese encephalitis occurs globally each year with 10,000 deaths. The vast majority of cases occurs among the children less than 16 years of age. Next, the problem in India. The recognition of Japanese encephalitis is based on serological surveys was first made in Tamil Nadu in 1995, 1955. Subsequent surveys carried out by National Institute of Virology Pune indicated that about half the population in South India had neutralizing antibodies. So far, 26 states or union territories have reported Japanese encephalitis cases. However, the states reporting repeated outbreaks are Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Haryana, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, Manipur, and Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, and West Bengal. The population at risk is about 300 million. During 2006, 2,832 cases of Japanese encephalitis occurred, about 658 deaths were reported at that time and in 2007, 391 cases were reported in India and 92 deaths occurred. This is the problem statement in India. Coming to the epidemiological features. Unlike the dengue viruses, Japanese virus infects several extra human hosts, animals and birds. Uh, the basic cycles of transmission are pig to mosquito to pig, ardid bat to mosquito to ardid bat. The disease is transmitted to man by the bite of mosquitoes. Man is an incidental dead-end host. Man-to-man -man transmission has not so far been recorded. Coming to the animal host, the animal ho among the animal hosts, pigs have been incriminated as the major vertebrate host for Japanese encephalitis virus. In some places, up to 100% of pigs may be infected. Infected pigs do not manifest any avert system symptoms of illness, but circulate the virus so that mosquitoes will get infected and get transmit the virus to the man. They are they just circulate the virus. The pigs are thus considered to be the amplifiers of the virus. So the pigs are the amplifiers of the virus. Cattle and buffaloes may also be infected with Japanese encephalitis virus. They are 
called mosquito attractants horses here horses are the only domestic animals so far known which show signs of encephalitis due to japanese encephalitis virus infection coming to the birds some species of birds such as pawn herons cattle egrets and perhaps poultry and ducks appear to be involved in the natural history of the japanese encephalitis virus so we have seen the animal host are did bats and the pigs pigs being the amplifiers of the disease and house horses are the only animal host which show signs of encephalitis when infected with japanese encephalitis virus coming to the mosquito vectors culicin mosquitoes notably culicin tritinio rhynchus culix vishnui and Culix gelidus, along with some anopheles, have been incriminated as vectors, and the most important vector in South India is Culix tritinorhynchus. These mosquitoes generally breed in irrigated rice fields, shallow ditches, and pools. The rice fields are probably the most important breeding places. These mosquitoes are zoophilic, feeding primarily on the vertebrate host. After getting infected from a host, either a pig which infected with Japanese mosquito virus, they, after an extending incubation period of nine to twelve days, they uh, get infected and they transmit the virus to other host. Japanese encephalitis in man. Oh, this is the it's a vector-borne disease, uh, amplifying host. As we have seen, the pig, pigs and bats are the amplifying host, and ardid bat, ardid birds. These are the ardid bats, which are the amplifier host. Incidental host being the horses. Culic species among the three culic species, the most important is the tritinorhynchus species. Which cause, which is causing the spreading the virus in South India most commonly. Japanese encephalitis in man. The incubation period in man following mosquito bite is not exactly known. It is probably varies between five to fifteen days. Not all individuals by infected uh, mosquitoes develop disease. The ratio is one is to three hundred to one is to thousand. Usually, it is a subclinical infection, a tip of iceberg phenomenon. Uh, then the course of the disease in man may be divided into three stages. First stage is the prodromal stage. Second stage is the acute encephalitic stage, and late stage, and sequelae. In the first stage, fever, malaise, and headache occurs. The duration of the stage is one to six days. The second stage of encephalitic stage, there is a high fever, which is a fever degree thirty-eight to forty degrees Celsius. Uh, then CNS signs like convulsions, altered sensorium, occur, which may lead on to coma. And the, finally, the late stage or sequelae, there is the temperature and the ESR touch the normal. The convalescence may be prolonged, and residual neurological deficits may not be uncommon. And the case fatality rate may vary between 20 to 40 percentage. The when a person get infected, the average time of time period between the onset of illness and death is about 9 days. So, there are 3 clinical stages which are the prodromal stage having fever, headache, malaise for 1 to 6 days and the encephalitic stage where there is high fever of uh, degree 30 to 40 degrees Celsius and uh, prominent CNS manifestations and the final stage, late stage and sequelae. Then coming to the diagnosis of Japanese encephalitis virus. Confirmation of a suspected case of Japanese encephalitis requires laboratory diagnosis. The main diagnosis is by IgM capture ELISA in CSF or blood. It almost occurs uh, in all patients within seven days of the onset of the disease. Other conventional antibody assays are also used for the direction of Japanese encephalitis virus antibodies. And uh, tissue culture methods are used but only rarely recovered and they are rarely used. So the main uh, laboratory diagnosis used is IgM capture antibodies which detects specific IgM antibodies in the cerebrospinal fluid within seven days. Now coming to the prevention and the control of Japanese encephalitis virus. The control of Japanese encephalitis virus can be discussed under two headings, controlling the vector and uh, host, increasing the host immunity by vaccination. Vector control. The vector mosquitoes 
of Japanese encephalitis are widely scattered, so the effective way to deal with them is to resort to aerial or ground fogging with ultra low volume insecticides like malathion or phenytrothion. All the villages reporting cases should be brought under indoor residual spray. The spraying should cover the vegetation around the houses, breeding sites, animal shelters. Uninfected villages falling within 2 to 3 km radius of the infected villages should also receive spraying as a preventive measure. Then, increasing the immunity by vaccination. Vaccination of the population at risk has been recommended. Currently, three types of vaccine in large-scale uh, use are the mouse-brain-derived mouse vaccine from the Nakayama or Beijing strain, cell-culture-derived inactivated vaccine prepared from Beijing P3 strain, and cell-culture-live attenuated vaccine from SA14142 strain. The mouse brain derived inactivated vaccine has been used successfully to reduce the incidence of Japanese encephalitis in a number of countries and uh, they are used internationally and internationally. Drawbacks of the mouse brain vaccine are the limited duration of the production and the need for multiple doses and high price. So the cell culture vaccines are replacing now the mouse brain derived vaccine. Immunization of the children. When immunizing the children under 1 to 3 years, the mouse brain derived vaccine provides adequate protection throughout the childhood following two primary doses uh, given 1 to 4 weeks apart and a booster dose after 1 year and a subsequent dose 3 yearly up to the age of 10 years. The dosage is 0.5 ml for the children under 3 years and 1 ml for the children above 3 years. It is given subcutaneously 0.5 ml or 1 ml below 3 years and children above 3 years. Subcutaneous injection of mouse brain derived vaccine is given 2 primary doses 1 to 4 weeks apart and the subsequent booster dose after 1 year followed by a 3 yearly once dose up to the age of 10 to 15 years. Uh, when we use here we are using the mouse brain derived vaccine uh, the cell culture vaccine the dosage time as I have already said mouse brain derived vaccine needs increase in now increased doses but while using cell culture derived vaccine there are only two doses a single dose uh, of vaccine followed by a single booster dose after one year is only required this vaccine is available in, in, in India and is an integral part of the universal immunization program in 11 endemic districts uh, in Uttar Pradesh, Assam, West Bengal and Karnataka. Then uh, coming to the infant immunization, it is not needed because of the immu immunity of those infants uh, for the age of 6 months from the maternal antibodies coming to the immunization of the travelers here uh, for travelers visiting rural areas of endemic countries they have to be given immunization it is a three primary doses at zero weeks seven days 28 days or two primary doses four weeks apart like that in children we have given booster doses and subsequent doses after one year there's a booster dose given and after every three years it is followed up when continued protection is required that's all about the Japanese encephalitis disease thank you